Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Ebos. What's it doing now? I'm going to take a, a look at a very quick uh, video here on how to deselect NAVAIDs when commencing RNP or RNP AR approaches. Um, it's not something that we would um, do normally uh, and let's be honest RMP AR approaches are relatively new and uh, certainly in our company we are still going through the process of authorizing uh, uh, aircraft under different AOCs to operate into specific airfields and each of those uh, need approval so it's not something we see very often. Um, the deselecting of nav aids themselves on these types of approaches aren't I wouldn't say necessarily commonplace but there are specific airfields where VOR DME uh, updating is not permitted or GNSS uh, approaches uh, are the primary source of navigation. And largely, as long as GPS or GNSS is primary, uh, then it's not often uh, that you would need to deselect. But at some airports, um, the reliability of those VORs and or VOR DME for fixing, position fixing, aren't reliable enough uh, to perform part of the sort of the mixed IRS uh, positioning uh, for those approaches. And uh, that information will be presented to you in a number of ways. Uh, that may well be on the chart, uh, as I show you an example here. Um, it may also be in the um, uh, approach chart uh, information, such as the airport information, uh, by whichever provider uh, provides you your uh, for your approach charts, whether it be uh, Jefferson or uh, Lido, Lufthansa, uh, or uh, or variations on the theme, or it might actually be by NOTAM. Uh, and or for your company uh, notices to crew or at no time. So you can get that information from a number of sources. And of course you would review this in the cruise uh, before making uh, making an approach and deselecting the navigates. Now I show you in this video here, uh, when you get to the position fixing page and uh, navigate selection, there is the option of deselecting navigates. That is for those approaches that uh, do not permit uh, VOR, VOR or VOR DME, DME, DME fixing. Um, and then you would select that to then deselect nav aids. But there may be airfields where uh, certain nav aids uh, need to be deselected and you can uh, type that up the top right corner uh, here as I show you. And of course, as that happens, you'll notice then that the um, in this particular mode, when we haven't deselected nav aids entirely, the FMGC looks then for uh, other uh, nav aids in which to use uh, for its position fixing. So there you go, guys. Not something we see very often, uh, but um, yeah, in case you need this information, uh, there is the ability to and how we go about deselecting nav aids or deselecting uh, specific nav aids uh, for backup fixing uh, for position fixing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you found it useful. Um, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the short uh, episode. And I look forward to seeing you for another uh, episode in the very near future. Keep the place spinning. Stay safe. See you soon.